Thank you. I must say I'm frustrated at the lack of economic reform that we've seen out of today's meeting. I see a relative newcomer to COAG. This is uh, my second year, but I'm now the nation's longest serving treasurer. And I've got to say uh, that what I've seen in the last week, both the treasurer's meeting uh, and today, is a frustrating lack of urgency on economic reform. We've seen a circular debate uh, around taxation reform. Uh, we've seen no real progress made after a number of years uh, on urgent economic reform priorities for the country. Now, we've signed up today to the competition and productivity reforms. We've done so in the absence uh, of, of any firm understanding from the Commonwealth as to uh, what resources they are going to bring to the table. We're doing so because we want to demonstrate national leadership uh, in areas of competition and productivity reform. And the ACT, under my leadership, will continue uh, to be a national leader in economic reform. On renewable energy, I would note uh, that next year, 40 per cent of all energy in this city will be renewably sourced. In 2018, it will be 65 per cent. And by 2020, the ACT will become the first jurisdiction in this country to be powered 100 per cent by renewable energy. Out of today's meeting, we made some progress uh, on housing and housing affordability. And I particularly welcome working with the Commonwealth uh, on affordable rental schemes utilising Commonwealth land that is available uh, right across Australia, but particularly in the ACT, uh, where some of the good intentions uh, of Commonwealth policy reform could be enacted. And finally, as a veteran of education policy debates, so seven years as an education minister, I must say we need to do more uh, across all jurisdictions uh, to focus resources on early childhood education, to invest in teacher quality and to value our teachers more, and to work in partnership with the university sector uh, to continue to lift Australia's education standards. Uh, it's only through that combination uh, of initiatives uh, that we will see meaningful improvement in Australia's education system. Uh, and today we had a, a productive starting of a discussion at uh, First Minister's level. But this is something that must be a national priority uh, alongside economic reform.